An important meeting at Rice State University today where the Faculty Senate took up a measure regarding whether they feel a vote of no confidence is needed for President Cheryl Schrader. The results came back late this afternoon after getting feedback from the members. And Tunis reporter Devro Bogart has the latest on this developing story. The motion made was a proposal to suspend the rules in order to get it before a full faculty. They needed 22 yes votes from the senators to proceed, but they only got 17. Today, the Wright State University Faculty Senate denying the discussion of a no-confidence vote for President Cheryl Schrader to go before the entire faculty. The vote came after numerous faculty, like history professor Dr. Nolay McElvena, sent emails to their senators asking for it. She says it is one of the last resorts before a possible strike. Nobody wants that. So this would be a measure, perhaps, to prevent that, right? That it, it would bring the administration and the board to finally understand how deeply we believe um, in preserving the academic mission. The president of the faculty senate, Dr. Travis Doom, refusing to go on camera after the vote, but saying he was not surprised by the close vote of 17 yeses and 15 noes. He says the senate tends to move cautiously and has a delicate process they like to follow. And this was only discussed since the email circulated yesterday asking for faculty feedback before today's meeting. Doom says the reasoning behind asking for the no confidence vote, morale among faculty is as low as I can remember it being. That has an impact on the nuance that they attribute to everyday actions. This comes after about 18 months of contract negotiations between faculty and the board of trustees. But the chairman, Doug Fecker, says President Schrader has had to make tough choices to facilitate a financial recovery. And I'm certain she will continue to make the difficult choices necessary for Wright State to prosper and excel. Now, it could still be discussed as new business as early as December, but it would be months after that before it could be put put up for a vote again to go before a full faculty. Reporting live at Wright State University, Deborah Bogart, 2 News, working for you.